Our title this morning is Let Us Restore the Lost Dawn. Let us restore the lost dawn. In today's scripture reading, Jesus refers to himself as the bright morning star. Who can see the morning star? Only those who rise at dawn and look up into heaven. In other words, May we be those who rise at dawn and run to the altar of God where the word flows. And may we know that we are meeting and seeing Jesus today, our true bright and morning star, through the word we are receiving now. So at this time, as we have awakened the dawn and as we come here to receive the word, let us understand why it is so important. So today's sermon was preached by Senior Pastor Abraham Park on August 10th, 2011, to let us know why it is so important to wake up at dawn and receive the word and pray. So big number one, why is it important to wake up at dawn? Small number one, because God is a God of order. God is never a God of confusion. He is a God of order who does everything according to an orderly direction. 1 Corinthians 14.33 For God is not a God of confusion. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 40 but let all things be done properly and in an orderly manner. What was God's original order concerning the day? It was to begin in the morning. That was the original order concerning the day. It was all to begin in the morning. However, because of the fall of man, the time of the history of redemption has now been reversed. Now the beginning is not in the morning, but the beginning is from the evening. In Genesis 1.5, it says, God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning one day. So here it says evening, which is night, came first, and then morning. And why? Because of the fall of mankind. Zechariah 14, verse 7 says, For it will be a unique day, which is known to the Lord, neither day nor night, but it will come about that at evening time there will be light. So it says in evening time, night time, there will be light. God planned his work of salvation originally in the morning, or more specifically, early in the morning. And this was to correct the order of the history of redemption that has been distorted by the fall. What specific instances happened early in the morning as recorded in the Bible? First, at dawn, the Egyptian army was drowned in the Red Sea. Exodus 14, 24 tells us, And it came about at the morning watch that the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and cloud and brought the army of the Egyptians into confusion. And in Exodus 14, 27, it says, So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its normal state at daybreak, while the Egyptians were fleeing right into it. 
Then the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. So we see at the morning watch in Exodus 14.24, the Egyptian army was drowned in the Red Sea. As it tells us, it's their conclusion in Exodus 14.27. Second, what specific incident happened early in the morning? It was at dawn when the Israelites began to march around the city of Jericho to make it fall. This is recorded in Joshua 6.15. Then it came about on the seventh day that they rose early at the dawning of the day and marched around the city in the same manner seven times. Only on that day they marched around the city seven times. So at dawn they began to march and after they had marched around the city seven times, the city of Jericho crumbled. Third, the psalmist also confessed that God helped him at dawn. Psalm 46, verse 5. God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. In this way, God punishes the disorderly forces of darkness by causing the work of correction to occur at dawn. That is why we need to wake up at dawn to pray. In this early morning, God will punish and defeat all the evil forces that afflict us. And at dawn, we will receive answers to our prayer. So may you surely believe in this fact, and may you continue to wake up at dawn and pray. May you do this every time that you remember that the God answers us at dawn. So when you go through difficult times, wake up and da at dawn and pray to him. And may you receive the victory that God will bless you with. I bless this upon you in the name of the Lord. Why else is it important to wake up at dawn and pray? Small number two. For God calls his workers at dawn. So at dawn, God also calls his workers of faith. If you look at Matthew chapter 20, it was early in the morning when the owner set out to get the vineyard supplies. This is recorded in Matthew 20, verse 1. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. So early in the morning is dawn. So he or she who wakes up at dawn to prayer, they are diligent workers. They wake up at dawn to pray. If you are not diligent, you cannot get up at dawn. It is only the lazy who sleep late and wake up late. For example, the manna that the Israelites ate in the wilderness disappeared after dawn. So the lazy, they cannot even eat. In Exodus 16, 21, 21 it says, And they gathered it morning by morning, every man as much as he should eat. But when the sun grew hot, it would melt. So in other words, if you did not wake up early, then you cannot collect mana. So the ones who woke up late, they could not get the mana because it had already melted. So from now on, let us diligently awaken the dawn and reap the food of the spirit, which is mana.
May not a single person be left out in the middle of our wilderness journey. And may we all instead enter into the spiritual Canaan, the kingdom of heaven. I bless this upon you in the name of the Lord. Small number three. Why is it important to wake at dawn and pray? Small number three. Only the eager can awaken the dawn and find God. Only the eager can awaken the dawn and find God. Proverbs eight seventeen. I love those who love me, and those who diligently seek me will find me. There are many people who want to seek God. And they say that they love him, but only those who diligently try to find him will be found by God. The word diligently in Hebrew means at dawn. In the same way, those who come out at dawn and pray are those who earnestly seek God, and they will be found. God will say, did you wake up at dawn? And at that time, did you pray to me to seek me? Then you will be found by me. And God promises to meet those who wake up at dawn, who earnestly seek him. Our senior pastor, Abraham Park, summarized the characteristics of dawn. Number one, dawn is a quiet time. Isn't that true? Dawn is the time when this fallen world sleeps quietly. So even evil stops at this time. So God likes this clean morning hour when sin is asleep at dawn. What is the second character characteristic of dawn? At dawn, you discover a mysterious world. Hosea 6, verse 3. So let us know. Let us press on to know the Lord. His going forth is as certain as the dawn, and he will come to us like the rain, like the spring rain watering the earth. It says, his going forth is as certain as the dawn. So the one who wakes up the dawn, that person can experience the mysteries that come from God. And third, Dawn is the time when all things are revived. When you go out at dawn, what do you see? At dawn, there is no withering. There is only dewy grass and trees. At dawn, everything is fresh. When you awake at dawn, your tiredness and stiffness disappears. But when you wake up late, the whole day you feel tired and stiff. Dawn is the time of life when your body and soul and spirit are revived. Please believe this. When you believe this and wake up at dawn and pray, your health will even be refreshed. And fourth, dawn is the time when darkness recedes. How great is this time of dawn? What kind of time is dawn? Dawn is the first hour of the day when darkness recedes and day dawns. It is the first hour of light 
that conquers darkness. In this way, dawn is the time in which God is pleased with. In Genesis chapter 1, it speaks of the creation of heaven and earth. And in Genesis chapter 1, the words, and there was evening and there was morning, was repeated six times. So from evening to morning, that is the time when the day turns to dawn. From evening to morning. In other words, Genesis chapter 1 emphasizes the early morning, which is dawn, six times. This is the conclusion of our message today. Jesus, who is the morning star himself, rose at dawn and prayed. Mark 1, 35. In the early morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went away to a secluded place and was praying there. Isn't Jesus our Father God, the Almighty Creator? Why did He pray then? For us. If you want to meet the morning star who is Jesus Christ, then like me, wake up at dawn and pray. This is what he was teaching us. May Jesus, our morning star, lead and protect you and your family. For those of you who have come to the altar in the early morning of this month, may God take away all the problems of your life. I bless this upon you in the name of the Lord.